This is Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review with your MLB Early Lines report for the games on Thursday, August the 11th. As always, Thursday card means it's a very small card, so we're going to sp- talk about one game and one game only uh, here for the Thursday card because really it's the only one I'm likely to bet at this point. Uh, not a great card, but there's one team and one pitcher in particular that I've had my money on a few times. It's worked out well in the past with this pitcher. Hopefully it'll work out well again here. We're going to look at the Houston Astros and the Minnesota Twins and the bet on pitcher for me, Doug Fister. And it's been great, actually, Doug Fister this season, uh, the way I've been able to bet him. Because I went against him early in the season. It took him time to get his footing with this Astros team in this rotation. He had a year filled with injuries last year, with inconsistency, with his starting spot in the rotation, with the Nationals taken away from him, relegated to the bullpen at that point. And really, it was just the kind of season for Doug Fister that you want to forget. So when he came to Houston after last year, it's taken him some time uh, to really get things going, to really gel and get comfortable with a new organization. But we have seen Doug Fister now for about, I would say, a solid couple of months, really, and I mean really pitch well for this team. Outside of a couple rough outings against the White Sox and Yankees, you take away those two, and in those other eight starts, he has been very, very strong. I mean, he has given up uh, three runs or less, seven of his last ten starts, you know, for the most part. Houston Astros have been winning games with Fister on the mound. They're 14 and 8 in Fister's 22 starts this season, including 8 and 3 on the road. In fact, his road ERA is even better: 3.04 ERA uh, for Fister on the road. Very good numbers indeed from him. Uh, and he's facing a Minnesota Twins lineup, which he has fared pretty well against in the past. Uh, he has allowed three runs or less in four straight starts against Minnesota. And overall, Doug Fister 4-1 uh, in his five, last five starts against the Minnesota Twins. So uh, good numbers for Doug Fister right now in terms of current form and very good track record against the Twins. On the flip side, you know, a very highly touted prospect here pitching-wise for the Twins and Jose Barrios, and he has just not been able to put it together yet. The question is, when will he put it together? Because I think he will. I mean, he has all the talent in the world to be a very effective Major League starting pitcher, but just hasn't happened for him yet. Uh, you look at his two starts, Since returning to this Twins rotation here in August, uh, they haven't been that great. Three runs on five hits and six innings against the Indians. Last time out against Tampa Bay, he was knocked around a bit. Four runs on six hits and five innings, including two home runs allowed at Tampa Bay and a 7-3 loss uh, for the Twins against the Rays. So again, Barrio's still a work in progress. Uh, You know, the problem is, Houston's offense can, you know, they have not been very good, and that's uh, t- putting it mildly uh, in the last several games. In fact, they are just 3-7, and seven, Houston, in their last 10 games, not playing very good baseball, not very good offensively as of late, uh, but they did have a very much needed outbreak offensively in the Tuesday night game uh, of this series against the Twins, scoring seven runs en route to a 7-5 win. Maybe a sign that a lot of these big Astros hitters, Altuve's still hitting, but George Springer's got to get going. You know, uh, Gaddis has to get going. Uh, there's a, a Kobe Rasmus. Where's he gone? I mean, he's got to get this his bat going as well. But again, they've got a pitcher that is struggling with confidence right now in Barrios. Maybe a chance for the Astros to get their uh, struggling uh, lineup as of late on track uh, here in this game. Uh, Houston in this game, you can get them as a short road favorite, minus 120, minus 125. How about the adjustment, by the way, that the odds makers have made on this Minnesota team? They realize Minnesota has been one of the hotter teams in baseball for the last few weeks. They've been good since the All-Star break. They've been good. They were pr- playing better baseball prior to the All-Star break as well. You're not getting those big underdog prices anymore with the Twins. Odds makers realize how much better they've been playing lately, and now we're getting a little bit of a discount now on Houston as a result of the way Minnesota's been playing as of late. And I think this is a cheap enough price that I'm going to get in there, lay it with the Houston Astros, minus 120, minus 125 in that price range with Doug Fister on the mound. One of the best uh, stories, I guess you could say, coming out of this Houston Astros rotation this year uh, has been the performance of Doug Fister, especially the last couple of months. We'll see if he can keep it going here. I'll lay the price with Houston on the road to get the victory. All right, that's my brief look at MLB early lines for Thursday, August 11th. I'm sports handicapper Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review. Until next time, enjoy the games and good luck.
do your research before you bet. Check out our ratings guide to see which books have the best ratings and sign-up bonuses. Open up several accounts and shop for lines at sbrodds.com. Always be ahead of the game.